So much happens in this week's Torah portion, Pinchas. But perhaps the most significant is Moses' successor is chosen. According to Midrash Tanchuma, Moses hopes that God will appoint his son as his successor, arguing that it's only logical for the position to be inherited within his family. And don't we all want this, the best for our children? The Hasidic master, Menachem Mendel of Kutz, explains that the reason that they talk about Moses' successor now, in particular in Parshat Pinchas, is because this guy, Pinchas, a man from the priestly class, is awarded this gushing blessing at the beginning of the Torah portion, God's pact of peace for running the spear through a Jewish chieftain and a Midianite princess who were having intimate relations at the tent of meeting. So Moses wants his son to be his successor, knows that Pinchas is being praised by God. And so what does Moses do? He wants to know who will fill his shoes, his son, Pinchas. And so the way he asks God who will Come next is Elohai Harachot Lechol Basar, God of the spirits of all flesh. Rashi remarks that he uses this terminology at this point because Moses is trying to say, God, master of the universe, the character of each person is revealed to you, right? No two are alike. Appoint over them a leader who can tolerate each person according to his individual a character, right? So that's what Rashi says, but we read that as him saying, don't pick Pinchas, right? Why, like, don't pick Pinchas, this guy who has no tolerance, who can't forgive people. I mean, think about Moses. Moses is this person who argues on our behalf when God wants to wipe us away, and Pinchas is like, no way. I'm, I'm going to, you know, be this zealot for God. So God responds, take for your... For yourself, Joshua ben Nun, a man of spirit, ruach in him. Rashi says, again, someone able to deal with the character of each person. So what's really interesting is that in the Talmud in Baba Batra, there is this scene that suggests the moment when Moses passed his authority to Joshua, that the elders exclaimed, woe for the shame, woe for the disgrace. Right? So they're sad. Why? Rabbi Yitzhak of Volosian, of Volosian claims that the elders were not expressing disappointment in Joshua. They don't think Joshua is a bad pick. They're realizing that, oh my gosh, this is not going to Moses' son. This is not going to Pinchas. Anybody could have done this. Anybody could have reached this pinnacle of leadership because Joshua did not become the leader through favoritism, but because he worked hard, because he did everything he could, because he was always by Moses' side. And the elders realized that they too had the potential to become great leaders and were now ashamed of not having done so. So in Pinchas, with the selection of Joshua, we realize that yes, there are people born you know, where they might inherit wealth or a great position. But really those who lead in God's world are those who work hard, who are dedicated, who show up every day, and who love God's people. So let's love God's people and work hard. Shabbat Shalom.